now right. with this we will move to our formal uh, course so to start with i mean what is emotional intelligence and what is the emotional quotient so emotional intelligence is basically if we go with the definition uh, the ability to understand use manage no, our no. own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress communicate effectively empathize with others overcome the challenges and diffuse the conflict is called emotional intelligence so if we highlight few of the words use and manage our own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress that's why we say uh, manage our own emotions in positive way to relieve stress communicate effectively empathize with others overcome the challenges and diffuse the conflict so these are what are the words are the important words uh, second is people who have learned and developed ai their emotional quotient becomes higher emotional intelligence helps us to build stronger relationship obviously because what happens is when we are emotionally hurt upset angry all these things see when we are happy the interesting part is when we are happy when something great happened to our life when that time our reactions are kind of predictable i mean if uh, say for example uh, you guys when your first child is born nobody will say oh i got a child oh. <laughs> nobody will react like that right but uh, similarly in the work when we got a promotion or fantastic hike and all these things obviously everybody will be happy and that reaction or that outcome is expected people expect that and it doesn't hurt anyone our emotion our outcome doesn't hurt anyone so when it hurt others as well as ourselves is when we are at stress when we are upset or angry those kind of things when the negative emotion when the negative emotion burst out or erupt kind of like a volcano um unfortunately unfortunately this emotional intelligence as i was mentioning is not formally being taught in many of the places which but ever since i learned it i started strongly believe that everybody everybody should be taught this part so that our uh, emotional behavior emotional outcome becomes much more easy predictable and people ultimately at the end of day people, what will happen is people will love us people will like us think little practical ways of our let's move on to our emotional uh, intelligence or our emotional quotient now let's think about any typical working day and identify three different emotion that we encounter quite often uh say for example uh when we have given a task with a very tight deadline how do we feel or uh, when we uh, kind of fail to achieve certain things which has been given to us how do we feel or what do we feel those kind of things now once we think about those emotional uh, reactions then next point is do we feel frustrated for various different reason again as i was mentioning earlier that when we are happy when something good happen to us obviously we feel good i mean there is no second thought there is no second point on that now the problem occurs when not so good thing happened with us right then only we feel frustrated and angry and upset and all these things so we need to identify what all things that triggers the frustration anger um, and uh, i mean uh, yeah and stress those kind of emotions when we feel anxiety so one thing we need to i mean why we are uh, focusing on anxiety stress frustration and all these things because as we know that stress frustration anger these things are 
not good for both physical and mental health so we need to i mean it's for ourselves first of all forget about others forget about how other feel and all these things first and foremost for ourselves our own benefit we need to ensure that uh, our behavior our reaction our feeling doesn't have any adverse impact on our health i mean both physical and mental health so that part we need to be ensure, we need to ensure so because of that we need to first thing we what we need to do is identify the triggers what all things that triggers our uh, negative emotions or negative reactions so once we do that then the next thing what we need to tell to ourselves is getting different type of emotion is natural as I, we were discussing earlier also the purpose of this course or the entire ai uh, learning and all these things is not to learn how to remove emotion or get a different emotion so let's not say that okay this situation we get frustrated hence what we are not we will not get frustrated we will be very happy so tomorrow if i am working tomorrow if i get fired from my job what people expect i mean how people expect us to react should we be very happy oh i lost the job i lost the job <laughs> is it possible is it i mean is it expected or is it possible that it can really happen not really i mean if someone really can reach to that level perhaps he became or he or she became a saint let me repeat that the purpose is not to get rid of the emotion or change the emotion completely no now the purpose of so i mean uh, that is the main thing now what happens because of that is once we learn to change our behavioral pattern basically then people will feel good interacting with me let me give a, another example which is related to our workplace suppose i am a sales manager now my team had gone to meet a prospective client and because of my health reason i could not join them i was not feeling well on that very day or something happened i was supposed to be there but i could not go but i have selected my most competent team to represent my organization or my team or my to sell the product or solution whatever we are supposed to sell somehow because of some reason they screwed it up and came back and gave me the news either over phone or whatever now how should we feel once we hear that should we feel very happy that my team has screwed up the discussion or the possible deal no definitely we cannot be happy now as an outburst as an outcome of that feeling one there are two possibility of multiple possibilities to be precise one very common is because of the anger frustration all these things will start shouting at our team member what the hell have you done this is a sure shot deal blah blah blah, 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 blah and all this thing. second we will compose ourselves and ask them the question what went wrong what had happened and understand what actually went wrong and then explain tell to my people that what went wrong what was the mistake they have done and all these things and coach them guide them so which one is better second one is better why because if i take the first path or first route then what is going to happen is first my people will be frustrated they they will not only frustrated i mean they will feel morally low they might not be able to understand their mistake what actually went wrong i mean obvious assumption here is they have not done it purposefully they have not done that intentionally so that we lose right so 
they have tried their best let us let us give that benefit of doubt at the very beginning that my team my people they are the most competent people at this point of time and they have tried their best but still still the deal did not i mean the whole discussion did not went well or the deal was not cracked fair enough now if we behave or if we channel our reaction in a positive way then the advantage that we are going to get is people will feel or people will get the coaching and the mentoring so that they will understand what mistake had happened so that the same mistake will not be repeated in future number 1 number 2 there could be there could be certain scenario or certain reason because of i mean which had happened which were was kind of unforeseen as a sales manager i have also not foreseen that to happen there is a high possibility that it will be a learning for me as well now along with this one more very important thing or discussion or the point comes into the picture what is that which i often call it as moving out of the comfort zone it's not easy all of us by default tend to stick to our comfort zone the moment we are forced or thrown out of the comfort zone what do we feel we feel uneasy we feel jittery right now it's the sign of a good leader that he or she always try to put himself or herself forcefully or not forcefully sorry i mean uh, voluntarily out of the comfort zone try something new something different or do something differently advantage is different horizon different viewpoint different angle comes into the picture the same thing see i mean many organization i am sure you have encountered this or have about heard about it we often call at least in it industry we often use a term called pyramid refresh 